The notification system in Android 4.1 is without question one of Android's best and most distinguishing features. But why don't more third-party apps use it? Here's a look at a few that do it well and a couple that could benefit from using expanded notifications. This is a music control app. I can play it right there. I can pause it. I can close it and then have a different view like that. And if I want, I can just tap on the album cover and it brings me into the app and allows me to do more than just see a notification. It takes advantage of the notification section and does more than just your standard audio app. Otherwise, you have uh, a battery app here. As you see, I can scroll it down if I don't want to take up the whole space. But let's say I'm away from my charger. I want to get an idea of how much time I have left on it. I can see a little breakdown of where I am so far of, of usage. I can turn off some settings. So let's say I want to turn off sync, which is going to use up a lot of battery. And then I can close it. And then I can go about my business and now I have something that's going to last a little longer. This is really cool because it's another example of a developer thinking of ways to not just send a notification but provide a shortcut, a nice utility of something that's valuable to you. Let's see another example which is beautiful widgets. As you see, it's a very cold 23 degrees today. And when I scroll down, I get a forecast of what it's going to be like later today. Uh, it's not going to get any better, so that's a good way for me to know that. So knowing that information, I can just close it back up and go about my business. Then, moving along, let's say you want to read the news. Okay, There's Pulse, which is one of my favorite news readers. It gives you an idea that says, hey, there's some new uh, articles that you might want to read. But I don't want to have to tap into the article to see if something grabs my eye. So a cool feature is when I drag down, it gives me a little preview saying, okay, here's three particular posts that you might be interested in. So I can scroll it to dismiss it. Or I can say, you know what, this uh, thing about... ESPN, maybe that's interesting. I tap on it, it brings me to the article. So you could just as easily wait until you launch the article itself and uh, browse through posts, but it's nice to have the option of getting a quick preview, which is kind of what Google was going for when they announced enhanced notifications. This is something that more apps should take advantage of. If you've ever taken a screenshot, you know that the notification, uh, expanded notifications can be used for more than just updates from apps. You can also use it to take additional actions. So when I took that screenshot, when I scroll down, it gives me the option of sharing it to another app. And there are other third-party apps that do similar things. For instance, Evernote it does a really good job that when you upload a note, it tells you of what you wrote to yourself. So I can scroll down and say, uh, that's not what I meant to say. I can edit it or I can share it to another application and tap into the Android share function. So now it's going to launch Evernote and do that. That's a good way of going about things. Once you've saved a note, you get additional options that you might have missed or it, you might have uh, failed to do before and didn't know that you were able to do. Uh, there's another app that does something similar to that, uh, which is more of a, a notification side. For instance, Plume. Uh, it's a Twitter app. When I get an, an at reply, it gives me the option of tapping directly to reply to the message. So without even having to launch Plume, I can just type my message to this person and go in there. Or I can also retweet directly so I don't even have to do anything. When I tap the retweet button, it uses the native Twitter retweet, and I go about my business. There are other apps that do that. Uh, Falcon Pro, for instance, is one example. Uh, but surprisingly, there are some apps that don't do that, and that's the Twitter native application. This is a, a big failure for Twitter to not realize that there's more I can do. But, of course, Twitter's probably not going to do that because they want you to launch the app all the time. So you can see their ads that they plan to put in later, or do some other stuff. But it'd be better off if they gave me the option of using the expanded notifications like some third-party apps do. Another great application is Notif, which basically allows you to put notes to yourself in the notification area. This is cool because you can add photos uh, with a camera or from the gallery. So I'll just add a quick photo notification to myself. I'll make a title, anniversary, content, and then I'll just uh, add a bunch of useless text. You can also just create a plain text or create a list. So if you've got some items that you want to add to a list, you can do that. 
but I'll just create this little notification. And then the next time I'm in my notification area, I'll see this photo and it'll say, hey, you know, reminder, anniversary, blah, blah, blah. And I can just scroll it up and put it away for later, or I can just dismiss it entirely, and it, the app knows that. The cool thing about this is if you do a notes, uh, a list or something like that, or you have additional notes uh, within the, aside from the title, for instance, right here is a title, important task for the day, and in the notes section, I've made a list of all the things I need to do today. You see, it's a very busy list, and at any time, I can just... Uh, expand it or collapse it so it's there in case I need a reminder later or in case I don't want to deal with it right now but once I complete that and have done my very busy schedule I can just swipe it out of the way these are just some of the examples of what I think are some of the best that I've seen on Android but obviously there are more opportunities that some apps aren't taking advantage of for instance eBay tells me that an item is ending soon and it cuts off it doesn't give me the full picture it would be great if I could just tap and then raise my bid or something within notifications instead of have to tap wait for the next screen to load see what the item is and then maybe do a uh, 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 increase my bid but you know when, when you're on eBay we're talking about a matter of seconds to determine whether or not you get that product so that's one way that they can improve another app that would be right for improvement with this is surprisingly Google Voice you know it'd be great if I could have the same type of uh, extended actions that I get with the standard Google uh, texting app if I had it with Google Voice uh, LinkedIn would be another example when I get a notification for connections or anything like that, just expanding. So these are just some examples of what I think are the best and some where it could be the best. If you've got any suggestions, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.